involved in a project with the University of Calgary, and it was the University of Calgary capstone project. It's the fourth year engineering students need a project to go out and test the skills that they've learned in the university. And so one of the things that we were really interested in was Trihedral had come out with a JSON driver for VT SCADA. And that JSON driver just allows uh, connectivity to all sorts of different products that are starting to come on the marketplace. And so with the students, uh, we kind of put together the scope of work and we said, hey, what we want to see is when the video analytics detects something that's abnormal or different, that we can therefore alarm it in VT SCADA. And with that timestamp, we know exactly when the event occurred and we can go find that on the video if we'd like to watch it again. And where we are right now is we're actually currently looking out the, the actual face of the drone. We can actually go ahead and map where the drone's going to fly or what pattern it's going to fly on. Um, and so it will now go out and find itself, fly at a little search pattern. And what it's searching for, and this is all automated, it is searching for a blue square. As it takes off up here, it's going to go to the first waypoint and all the way along the way it is searching. So the video analytics are running. We use a thousandth to a millionth of the video that we actually take. So when you look at video that's happening at like six frames per second or more, all of that data gets stored and put someplace, but nobody ever looks at it because they had no reason to look at it. The only time they need to look at it is when an event occurs. So here we come up, we found the item, an alarm just came in, you can see on the left-hand side into VT SCADA, telling us that we actually found the blue square. And with that timestamp, we can now reference it back to the video and know exactly where to look. And so that was really the intent of this. Instead of having all sorts of video that we had to constantly um, stream, so we acknowledged it. And once again, you'll see that alarm come back in again after we've acknowledged it. So the ease of providing this interface was really, really impressive. We did this project on VT SCADA Lite, which is a 50 tag free license, providing a thin client, allows you to use all the functionality of VT SCADA. Going back to the fundamentals, we should have a common alarming, we should have common visualization, and we should only really have to train on one product for operation staff. So here we are after a successful journey. This was completely automated. There was no pilot at the helm other than a computer and we thought it was pretty impressive.